That brings us to our brand new movie of the week, Black as Night. Now, Black as Night is a new Amazon and Blumhouse collaboration. It's a pleasant welcome as it brings a unique take to the vampire mythos. And I gotta admit, before doing this review and before watching this movie, I did a little research on the topic of vampires. And the vampires we have today, you know, the humanoid looking creatures, are not the original vampires. In fact, what we have today is an amalgamation of many vampire myths throughout history, throughout various cultures. And we've somehow taken the best parts and created the modern day vampire. The vampires of old were told to be these shapeless, bloody figures who would suck your life force or drink your blood. But after thousands of years of everybody all over the world pitching in, we have what we have now. But I will say this, if you wanna really make a good vampire movie, don't follow the Hollywood approach. Hit the books and create something unique. Now Black as Night stars our heroine, Shauna, played by Asia Cooper, and I hope I'm saying her name right. If I'm not, forgive me. And her ragtag group of friends that include her best friend, her crush, and some girl she met that happened to know a lot about vampires. And they are tasked to take on these black vampire supremacists. They are vampire supremacists and black supremacists. And these vampires are trying to take over New Orleans to create this master race of black vampires. But things get a little out of hand when Shauna realized that killing these vampires are a little bit harder than she expected. Now overall, I rate this movie a one-time watch. Now to see and understand my movie rating system, please check my YouTube trailer. What I think you're gonna really enjoy about this movie is it's a more grounded approach to the vampire mythos. It's more traditional in the sense. Things that harm vampires traditionally will also harm these vampires. But there is a treat that this movie adds in just a bit that tells why some vampires can be daywalkers. In fact, you'll find that little tidbit perfectly reasonable. What you will love about this film is the themes that's peppered into it. There's colorism. That's where lighter skinned black people tend to look down on darker skinned black people. And I think you're gonna really love those undertones that this movie really creates. And if I could compare this movie to a classic movie, it would be like the 2021 version of the original Fright Night. This movie is very character driven and I believe you will love the characters that's on screen. And yes, this movie does have some good kills, but I think you're gonna enjoy the story most of all. And there's just enough added into this movie to make it its own thing. Now one of the downsides of this movie is the way the vampires die. You're gonna look at it and you're gonna feel a bit underwhelmed. Now I'm not gonna give this movie away, but once you see how these vampires die, you're gonna say to yourself, couldn't they add just a little bit more effort to give us a bigger payoff? I mean, if they added just a little bit more to these deaths of the vampires, it would be a more well-rounded film. And there will be one loose end in this movie that never gets answered. What is the technology used that caused some vampires not to desire human blood? That's the one thing that's gonna bug you and it's never really answered. And um, yeah. <laughs>